Hi guys, journalist for the Neisner Plate Herald here, Stefan Goysen, with an amazing story of the Neisner local, uh, Lloyd Carter, who recently, a uh, couple of months ago, visited the Addo Elephant Park, and he subsequently took some photos of something that had just happened. He wasn't sure yet what it was, but since then his photos have gone viral. Tell me firstly what you guys were doing in Addo, and then the photos you took and what you found out about the photos uh, at a later stage. Basically what happens is we go to the Edo quite frequently, uh, obviously I love wildlife photography and uh, I do quite a lot of oil painting, but uh, our daughter's quite silly autistic and we, we, we struggle to find somewhere where she's very sort of at home in a, in a nice environment and stuff. On the day, on that particular uh, game trip, we were away for five, uh, five nights, uh, we spent two at the, uh, the Mountain Zebra Park and then uh, the other three days at the Addo Elephant Park. We, on our last day before we were going to leave the park, we came up to Harpool Dam, which is very popular. Massive amount of elephants gather around there, especially during that, that time when uh, there's a drought, there's obviously a water shortage. Uh, you can see some days of herds, different groups of herds gathering together, you know, between three to 400 strong. It's, it's quite incredible. Anyway, we were just coming up to the the dam section uh, and we noticed there's a lot of activity, quite a aggressive, uh, chaotic a a activity going on between a large group of elephants moving and sort of running around in between the cars. Uh, so for a photographer this is very unusual, so this is obviously for someone like myself to start taking photographs, so that's what we did. Uh, we were amazed that at the time that the elephants were sort of charging in between the cars that none, none of the cars were pushed over no one got hurt we didn't actually understand what we were watching at the time uh, we got back to Neisner uh, we launched our photos on uh, the, the Addo Elephant Park member Facebook site uh, and then we noticed one of the other ladies there uh, has now become a friend of mine Jenny Smithers she launched her video and in that video it shows this uh, <clears throat> young baby calf being flicked up in the air by, by a, a male bull. And of course I knew that my photos were linked in with that as well so we started get, obviously get talking to each other, sharing our images uh, and then uh, about four or five weeks after that I met her again in the park and she drove up to me. She, funny enough we were viewing uh, lions hunting at the time and uh, she said, I've got some fantastic news, uh, this uh, advertising agency called Cater News wants to buy uh, and commission our, our photos and our videos uh, and the National Geographic and the Daily Mirror and all this, it's, it's gone far, it's, it's massive Lloyd, it's very very exciting. And of course I got home and then uh, one of the agents from Cater News contacted us and said, look, we, 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 these photos are so rare. Uh, could we please use them? And of course, I, I was excited and we, we did that. In the meantime, uh, I wanted to speak to Gareth, who's become a friend of ours, who is massively, he's one of the biggest people ways. He's a, a South African conservation of the year. He spends days, you know, days and years up at the Nice Forest studying the Nice Forest. He's been on TV. And I said to Gareth, look, you know, any chance of having a look at this and, and joining in with this guy? I don't know what's really going on on, on what's really happening in these photos. I've got a rough idea, but I don't want to say too much until I speak to the experts and then inform me what's happening. And, and I think that's, that's to me, was again, very, very exciting. And uh, it made a big difference because obviously we are seeing a lot of comments coming up on our Facebooks, uh, YouTube and stuff like that, where people are saying, oh, this elephant's doing this and that. And there's a lot of nonsense where when you speak to these experts, uh, it's so nice for them to give a detail uh, train of thought of what's really going on in, in, in on those photos and in that video and that's that's what I find very very exciting at the moment. Uh, we've just spoken to Lloyd Carter, a local who saw something amazing and took some amazing photographs in the Addo National Elephant Park um, but obviously not being a professional uh, we've got Gareth Patterson here with us, an international and local expert in elephants who's been working with elephants for almost 30 years, 30 years plus He's won awards as Con Conservationist of the Year, and um, I just want to get his opinion on, on what it is that was, that, that was caught by Lloyd Carter. So I'm going to hand you over to him for, for his opinion on, 
on what happened and misconceptions people have about what they see. Um, firstly, just explain to our, our, our viewers and our readers what it is that um, Lloyd was able to capture on camera and what um, Jenny then also videoed. It's a, it's, a, it's a very fascinating sequence of events and um, I mean which culminates first of all in this ball um, lifting this very young baby, I think it's just a few days old, um, up, into, up into the air and a lot of interaction going on there and then you see a cow, presumably the, the mother, coming over and coming past it and that actually gave um, the baby a bit of space and the ball went after the cow and they mate it. Now the interesting thing is, is that <clears throat> his aggressiveness towards that calf, his perceived aggressiveness, um, is really about confusion. That's what's going on here, is that she had recently been um, given birth, so she, the smell that uh, was around her probably confused him. He thought that she was in estrus. Now this little calf is also full of the scent of this, uh, this, this female. And, um, and that confused him. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's about a 25-year-old bull, probably weighs in the region of about four tons or whatever. I mean, if he really wanted to harm that calf, I mean, it'd be a flick of the trunk and the, and, the, and the baby would have been dead. So it wasn't about aggressiveness towards the calf, it was his confusion and his reaction. Uh, people worldwide have reacted to the images um, showing that calf up in the air, and, and it is admittedly a very um, shocking thing to, to be seen, but it's actually just a snapshot of the whole sequence of, of events. Um, that's what's going on here. And um, the bull was confused. Um, if, uh, you know, elephants are not like lions that when a new, new male comes into an area and chases away the old, he will then commit infanticide of the previous. That's really getting rid of the genetics. That's, that doesn't work with elephants like this. So it's a very, very rare thing to see. And then they went off and they mated and presumably the calf is fine. It was very interesting in Lloyd's other shots because nearby there was a very big bull in the area, only about 100 meters away, one of the dominant bulls, I think, in that area. And uh, he showed no sign of being in must. That is the time when their, their hormones are raging and they're after the girls and all the rest of it. And normally in a situation like that, if she really was in estrus and he was in must, uh, those two would be together. He would never tolerate a 25-year-old mating with an estrus female. And he was just calmly sitting there, um, looking very, very relaxed. So he wasn't in musk. The young bull wasn't in musk. It, musk is very, very uh, noticeable because they have temporal glands on the sides of their head. And these stream um, with activity. And you can see these dark streaks coming down. And uh, the young bull didn't have that. And also, the, <clears throat> we know that um, the female, she wasn't in estrus because she's got a few days old calf. So the whole thing, from an animal behavior point of view, absolutely fascinating. That's awesome. And just a last question, uh, Gareth. What do you think this footage and these photos mean for the study of elephants worldwide? Well, we can actually learn a lot. I mean, I've been involved with elephants for a long, long time. Elephants are the most studied animals on Earth, and we've been studying their behavior for about 50-odd years, and yet they never stop to surprise us. This is really the tip of the iceberg. And if that's the most studied elephant, I mean, most studied species, the elephants, um, on Earth, imagine how little we actually know about the other species out there. Um, your photo's going viral. What does that feel like? Have you ever experienced something no, like that before? Uh, it's like most, most amateur, even some professional photographers, when they take photos, uh, we all see something going on behind the lens. Uh, we look for, the, obviously, the, the, the level of detail, uh, subject matter, contrast, colours, everything all goes through your mind, but you don't actually realise what's actually going on in that photo till maybe when you start editing them or when you start speaking to experts, go, oh wow, did you know this? And then suddenly that becomes even more exciting. So from a photograph, it's, it's a continuous story, and I think that's what makes it exciting. And of course now, going not just uh, local, but international as well, you suddenly think, well, I've contributed to something which is really quite important I've witnessed something and I've contributed it and I think that's very, very exciting.